The great wizard told me to get the hat. So if you don't mind, I feel like he's going to bite me. Hmm. I can't do that. I'm divorced. What, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. <gasps> Mommy? Is that you? Mommy? My beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There is nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer. Now! If you don't, the big monster will come and get you! No! You're not my mommy! Leave me alone! My darling, the big monster will come and get you! He will come and get you! Oh, oh, she looks creepy now. He will come and get you! Mommy, you're scaring me! Mommy, stop it, please! Okay, and the seat. I'm re so, yeah, um, hmm, okay, it's supposed to be fall time, that's why I was very confused and walked out to winter time. Apparently winter time, the demons just kind of hang out on this world. I'm gonna go inside and see if it changes. I think I can go to the library in the fall. So I'm gonna see if I can go in there now. Stop right there, do you know the password? Oh no, what password? The library password, of course, you must have it to come inside. Uh, do you know who has the password? Yes, the great wizard, of course. He knows everything. Hmm, all right. I'll see if I can find the password then. Bye. Okay, so I still can't go in there unless I've talked to the great wizard. Son of a bitch. And the great wizard doesn't show himself unless it's winter time, I think. Oh, I don't want to go to the winter realm, dude. The demons. It's a good day for fabric and thread. I'm at your service. I would like some. Cause like I have, I wonder if I could use it on my, like my fishing rod is broken, right? Maybe he can fix it. Hello, I'm Fran, what are you doing? I'm Pruder on the molding piece of iron. Okay, well he's already talked to us about that. Um, oh, the clock master's gone. He moved his setup, I guess. That's interesting. Um, and this guy is still building his shit. Okay, I guess. I guess we have to make it winter time. I'm gonna see if I can go up to the top of the mountain, but I'm pretty certain it's only winter time. That, I might just not be able to get an ID. It's ship with a P. Did I not say that? It's the hamster club all over again. Uh, oh, kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? Huh, I, I think it's the shadows. Oh dear, I don't want to see them again. A again? Yes, Kitty, they were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We'll go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now we have to keep going. Okay. This mountaintop is very high because it's at the top. Okay, so the great wizard's still not here. Um, I don't, it doesn't, oh, maybe I can click this. There's nothing here but trees and flowers. Okay, I'm gonna try and talk to him again and see if he, see if he knows. Um, hello again, did you find your special ticket yet? The show is about to begin. Shit. How do I get one? Maybe it's something to, Maybe it's something to do with it. Maybe I can get one from here. But I don't under, I don't really know what the puzzle is for this thing. There's an arrow in there. Maybe I can put an item in it. Um, it won't do. Hmm, interesting. I'm not really sure. Chat, how do I get the ID? I'm very lost on this. The special ticket. I mean, I could... Maybe I need to talk to one of the vendors. Huh? Oh, no, the axolotl. Oh, no. Palantras, sir? Oh, no. Wait, don't go. 
Oh no, he looked really bad, Kitty. He was the thing that just fell from the sky. That looked like one of the demons. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. We should pick that up. Okay, cool, we can. Maybe I can combine it? No, I can't. Interesting. I don't think we can casually get to him. Aw, oh, poor guy. Okay, that guy has no new dialogue. Maybe this person can help me out? There goes Fran the tourist, have fun. Okay, no, that's no new dialogue. Um, Maybe the old man does. Hello again, little creature. Hope you find your way back home soon. Hello, Zelma. Repeat your song? Can you repeat the song you sang for me? Oh yes, one and one are two. Two and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. That's it. I think that's gonna be a puzzle. Hello again, would you like to play once more? No. How do I get a ticket? Um, beautiful fruits. Uh, would you like some? Uh, oh no, I'm on a mission to return home. I'm a human. Go really fast. What kind of ticket? Lottery speeding. <laughs> uh, thirst I'm a human. Thank you, miss. I'll see you soon. Hmm. I guess I, I just can't go in. Interesting. Huh. Okay, I'm going to try and just change the season. Hopefully it doesn't fuck shit up. It works really well. What will it be? Summer? Winter? I like that the crystal is out. Am I able to just look at it? This is a very odd clock. Why, where are the numbers? Oh, hold on. No, no, no. I wanted... Shit. I wanted to go this way. Hi, Edgar. Hi, buddy. Wait. Is the tavern just straight up not here? What the fuck? The tavern's just straight up not here in winter? Okay, hopefully the great wizard's up here. Oh, hey, there's the the caves open now. Okay. There he is. Surely that's him. Oh, are you the great wizard, sir? Are you? Because if you are, then we need to talk. He's not saying anything. Excuse me, can you talk? You have many questions. That's good. <laughs> I haven't taken my medicine today. Um, I'm gonna mention. I'm gonna name drop the king. The king said you'd. Oh, sorry, sir. The king said you could help me. What the king says, we do. Aha! Uh -huh. I need to borrow the stones. I need you to lend me the stones to open a door to my world. And the stones are missing, and I I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget. So they can't be found. Hmm. Are they? You mean the black shadows, sir? I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does that rabbit do it? The rabbit? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. Is he talking about Alice in Wonderland? Oh, that or like a magic trick, maybe. How? This is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then the nothing, then nothing exists. But if nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I ask you again, how? Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the great wizard? What? That means me, just so you know. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones! Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for them. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas, they try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. The king told me the stones would open a, a door to go home. Hmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory! Only when all four riddles are answered correctly will I be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. Tell me the riddles. One of them, I think, is in that clock tower, like we saw. I see. Well, tell me the riddles. There's no time to lose. Let me show you. 
All right, I'm ready for the riddles. Write them down. Get your notepads out. That's a pentagram. Okay. This is the Star of Athirsta, Omkaba, the greatest guide of the sky, the greatest caretaker of this land. Uh, uh, and what do I have to do, sir? Where, what are the riddles? I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items in the Star of Athirsta so their respective symbols on their respective symbols, and after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. Wow, this is quite the diagram. This, this looks like uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci's human diagram, but with like a little creepy tree person. Okay, one. Um, I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Okay. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Okay, so that sounds like a lemon or a lime. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. It's probably like a, I feel like it's probably a lemon. Um, flow, flow, cold blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Okay, so that's probably something in the lake. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds in the pen of men. In the pen of men. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds. In the pen of men? Is it just like a stick? Say nothing. F yeah. Feather? Oh, I have a feather. That makes sense. A feather works too. Yeah, hey, that one, that one, yeah, you would say nothing. You were supposed to say nothing, but that's okay. That one makes sense. I was overthinking it. Yeah. Um, that's true. I barely remember what to do with it. Uh, you don't remember, but I can't go home as a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. <laughs> Perhaps we can try to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Try, just try to figure out the riddles and I guess we'll be fine. Uh, sir, do I need something special to become a human? Hmm, I think this, this smell is very important, but if I remember correctly, so bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. Can you explain the riddles again? I forgot what to do. Just place the correct answer so as far as the slime more. Okay, so... Here's the thing. I think... Okay, so we have the fourth spot is the feather. I think that the... I'm as cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Flow, 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 cold blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Is that potentially the... No. Okay. Um, okay, so I think I have one of them. I need to go probably get the lemon. I'm pretty confident on the lemon. Let's see if anything's up here. Um, Atomics, thank you. This, it looks like it has a face now. This mountaintop is very high. I wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. I guess it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. Yeah, it looks like it, it can talk. Okay. Um, so, we need to get a lemon. Wait, if we need a lemon, I'm going to have to change... Ah, oh, shit, that one guy has the lemons. Okay, nobody... Oh, is just nobody around this? Okay, everybody's hibernating. Okay. To springtime we go. Uh, okay, it's spring now. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, springtime's so pretty. Hey, buddy. Would you like to wait with me? Uh, I can't. I have to go home. Home or you... You are home, right? The universe is your home. Oh, it's a very nice thought. Ugh. What is that smell? Oh, whoopee. My farts, my farts, so the darkness won't hurt, haunt me, you know? What? It's weird, though. I see no darkness. My goodness, it's really bad. Well, I have to go by. Okay. I'm just ripping ass everywhere, apparently. Alrighty. Uh, they're not doing anything over here still. Let's see if I... The, the, the lemons were being... I'm gonna have to take one, right? Um, probably from him when he picks them in the fall. Oh, no. Summertime was when he was picking them. Because I don't think the others had any. Oh, here's the clockmaster. Hello, what are you doing? Oh, working on my clock. What could the other stuff be? Oh, wait, I can just change it on the go? I don't have to be... Wait, do I not have to be... Oh, yeah, because he did tell me it's remote controlled, right? Sir, can I have one of your lemons? I'm sorry. 
lemon resources, I, I can't let you take them. I'll take all the lemons basket can carry. How do I... I don't need to climb that ladder. Shit. The guard told me my I need a ticket to go inside. Okay, I have to figure out how to get a ticket to go inside because that's where the lemons are. Fuck. Try to bribe with a gold coin. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, let me try that first. That it might let me do that. That's a good that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Yeah, let me see if I can bribe. It won't it won't do. Wait, really? Son of a bitch. What if I do this? Damn it. Yeah, I can't go to the castle. Does he not want the one you have? No, he won't take what I have. Sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something's missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Huh? You just said the exact same thing as someone else back in the hospital. Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse. When I broke the curtain. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're quite strange. Well, let's forget about it. Can you please make me a hook for the fishing rod? Yes, let's do it. Uh, if you give me one coin, I can give you half a hook. Uh, and if you make two coins, you'll have an entire working hook. Oh my God, I don't need half a hook. I need the whole thing. The whole thing will cost you three coins. One coin for half a hook, two for a working one. Deal? That's, that's supposed to be two coins. What the fuck? So I have to go play more chess. Okay, this is my only lead I've got right now is this broken rod. All right, we're playing, we're playing fucking tic-tac-toe again. All right, dipshit, snail, get ready to die. Bonk. All right, I got two. We're not gonna be here a while, I'm gonna sweep them. See? Dunzo, bro. Dunzo. Alrighty. That was very clever. Good for you. Yes, I'm very good at this. Alright, I've got three coins now, bucko. Here are your three coins, sir. Wonderful. Thank you. And here's your hook. I hope it works well. Okay. Thank you, sir. This is perfect. Now I have to go. Okay. So now we're going to combine... Okay, I probably need string first. Good day for fabric. Uh, maybe I maybe I need to do this. Hello, miss. I was wondering if you have some thread for fishing line. Fishing line thread? Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want it? Yes, please. How much is it? Well, quite a lot. Is that good? Oh, I meant price-wise, miss. I only need enough for, fi for fishing line. Oh, I forgot to think about the price. Yes, I've never sold anything before, but you know what? You can have it. I hope it makes you happy. She just gave it to us for free. Let's go, dude. Okay, holy shit. We're getting somewhere finally. Um, I hope you come up with some prices and sell something soon. Goodbye. I like that she's like, I've never made a sale. You can have it for free. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try fishing. See if we can fish over here. I might, I probably have to go to the other area. But we'll see if it lets me do it here. I won't even try that. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We'll go to the other area so you can fish, you little shit. So, wait, wait, maybe I can do it here too. There's a lot of fish right here. Yeah, surely it's here. What? Seriously? So many fish. There we go. I got a fish. I'm very sorry. Okay. So I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile. Uh, flow, flow, and I cold blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Yeah, okay. So that one's probably the fish is that third one. So it's now we can go back to winter time and take it take it to him. Maybe we'll get some dialogue to advance. Oh, yeah, she was very sweet, wasn't she? Oh, that's a cute emo Jenny. It's like a little gingerbread cat. Okay. Surely this is for the third one. Yeah, there we go. Dead fish, poor fish. Okay. Alrighty. Um Just because I'm curious in case I'm wrong. Yeah, it's, de it's, it's definitely lemon. Um, sir, sir, please give me a clue. I need your help. Help? I'm already helping you. If you want me to solve it for you, then you won't learn anything. Time and space are great and the answers can be found everywhere. But they're always there and I'm sure you'll find the answers never give up. I need an ID! 
Can I take any of his other shit? This fucking guy. Um, I don't know how, but the basket is uh, alone at some point. I would try to break it. Okay, so I... Okay, I'll see if I can break it during a different season. I didn't think I could do that. Kitty, I'm going to do something, so act natural. <gasps> oh, my God. <gasps> oh, my God. Okay. I see now. He'll never know. So as he's collecting them and puts it in... Oh, he's going to drop one while he carries it. Yeah! Nice. Okay, thank you for the assistance. Okay, cool. I've got a lemon now. So that's... Okay, so now I need one more item. I'm as cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'm as cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. I'll be burning hard. Like an icicle, maybe? Because it says I'm cold as I am. But where the fuck can I collect an icicle? Like, all these things look like they have it, but maybe I have to cut it off? Because technically it's burning if you hold it, right? Maybe this way? No. What hardens when you burn it? I don't feel like wood does, it just burns. How would you light ice on fire? I mean, if we're not thinking literally, like, if you use me, I'll be burning. Well, I guess, I guess it means burning hard. But, like, I think when it, words like that, I, yeah. Metal, maybe, or charcoal. I don't feel like it's wood. Maybe it's, maybe it's iron or something. You think metal or clay? I don't know if I can get it. Let me talk to him. Well, that piece of metal looks grand. Maybe it's called heavy metal. I'm only, uh, can I get this piece of iron from him? No. Um. Hmm. You can use fire to harden steel. Yeah, but it says it's cold as I am. Cold as I am. Like, there's not many things that are naturally cold. You think a... Oh, maybe it's a match. We do still have the matches. But yeah, I'll be burning when you use me. Or harden. Yeah, it might be the match. Let me put the lemon down. Okay, wow, that's, yeah, good guess, guys. I completely forgot we had the matches. Yeah, that was an okay time for you guys to help me out there. Thank you. Completely forgot we had the matches. I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm already, re I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. Uh, yeehaw. Yes, we'll start with the fire. Cotrum has awakened. Cotrum is alive. On top of the mountain, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Y ah, your hat? He he, yes! The stones are hiding in my wizard's tools. That's why I can't remember a thing. Aha! But now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Cotrum. And come back when you have the hat. Uh, then we can do other things. All right, sir, I'll bring back your hat. Okay, so I need to go to the top of the mountain. If you look closely, it's the four elements, too. <gasps> look at him. Oh. Ah! Uh, who dares to wake me? Who? Oh my goodness, you're alive! I'm sorry to bother you, sir! I'm Fran! Fran? I see. I don't know what that means. I feel like the hat's gonna blow off. <laughs> uh, well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. Mine is Cotram. Do you want to know why? Ah. Uh, <laughs> sure. Sure, tell me. Cotram means born in heaven. I used to be a star. And because I was born in space, it's very logical. Oh, wow. I've never met a star in person. It's nice to meet you. 
Nice to meet you too, friend. So, what brings you here? The great wizard told me to get the hat, so if you don't mind... I feel like he's gonna bite me. Hmm, I can't do that. I'm divorced. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, Chad, I need to borrow a fork. And it's like you saying, no, I'm divorced. What the fuck does that have to do with, like... Is the great wizard actually, like, its significant other and they lost the hat in the divorce? Like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean divorce? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. You'll have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you. I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magma could erupt and kill everyone, including you. Oh. I feel like the hat's not doing a good job at covering his top, though. There's, that's quite a large hole up there. Uh, I guess we're getting her back. What happened? Yeah, let's ask her. I don't want that. What happened to your wife? She, she decided it was time for her to start her own island. So she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. Yeah, uh, oh, so now she is her own island? Hmm. Do you know where she is? I think she's on the water. Otherwise, I would feel her presence very strongly. So is she that little island then? But I don't... Oh, my wife! My beloved wife! I'll go see if I can find her, all right? Then I'll give you that... Then you can give me the hat. Well, if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what could happen. Can't I put something else on top of your head, sir? Like a rock or something? No, I like this hat. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right. I think she's on that small island or she's by the kingdom. I know you're all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side. And you'll have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary and I don't like you. Fran, who are you talking to? Huh? The woman's standing. Uh, it, it's nothing, kitty. What the fuck? The fuck am I listening to? I'm just trying to give them a creepy voice that's not my satanic voice. <laughs> So I'm just trying. I'm attempting my mixer skills. Okay, let's... I can't believe that blood is still there. All right. Oh, the boat's not here. Oh, because he's fucking fishing. Okay. Fran's tripping, bro. All right. It's... <gasps> there she is! She wasn't there before! Look at her! She's literally the peak! She's she's growing on this little island. Hello, miss? Wake up, I have a message for you. Oh, hello. A messenger? What a good day. Yeah. Yes, miss, I'm the messenger of love. Love? Oh, but you're not pink. Sh should I be? Oh, should I be pink? I used to have human skin, though. It's almost pink. Hmm. And does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here to, in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No! He made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. Well, maybe he didn't mean to hurt you. What did he do? He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. But lately, he's been cold and boring, so I felt neglected. I cried so many times. That's kind of fucked up. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time. So I want some credit for that. That's all. But miss, if I find the flower for you, would you come back? I guess. But I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go see if I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very difficult. Different from all the other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me and I shall return to him. 
Okay? This is a complicated relationship. Jesus Christ. There's fertilizer for getting that flower back up. Yeah, homie's got ED. He got erectile dysfunction. Wait, it said at the bottom, so I'm assuming it's like... Uh... Oh, this one. This must be the flower I need. I can't take it with my hands. It has dangerous thorns. Okay, 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 we'll do this. There we go. The red flower, it's warm with love. See, he wasn't, he can still make the flowers. That's so crazy. Okay. There's holes in it right now. Okay. Take the boat, take her, take back the boat. When you need a hat, but you don't have to get an island to fall in love with the mountain again. <laughs> All right, lady. I've got your flower. Miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower. Oh, thank you so much. You look so beautiful. You are indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should get go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in winter time. <laughs> she just got up and walked on over, bro. Holy shit. I'm still mad I can't go into this club, dude. <gasps> oh my god. Hee <laughs> hee, it's very nice to see you two together. Now I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling. Climb up on top. Aw, look at them. And here's the hat. Thank you again. Oh, my God. Yes. Wow, thank you, sir. I have to go give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. They're adorable. I got an achievement. Caltrum is no longer divorced. <laughs> I used to wake up every morning, my flower would be staring up at me. Now it just looks at the floor <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil, the fruit. The creation of selective ele random elements we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, is it? it's incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book, my book of knowledge, it's in the library, but beware. The book may be hiding, so you must be persistent and patient. Good, sir. I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you need to get inside. Let me think. Think. It must be something about how we learn, or... Hmm. Ah, I remember. The password is... Your basic senses are easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. That sounds really stupid. <clears throat> oh, I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? This means that we often let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever try and tell us what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. This will be, will let you be the cherished every second of your life. Oh, I think it's very fun to think and learn and be curious helps a lot. I'll be going to the library now to find your book. All right, time to get the book. She'll read that one too. All right, we go this way. I've got this map fucking memorized, bro. Boop, up we go. Do you remember, Fran? You're a murderer. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Ah! Uh, do as I say. Do as I do, Fran. Jump. I... I didn't want to kill them. I didn't want to. She... Wait, she... Oh, is she talking about the, the twins? versus her parents. I thought it was talking about her parents. Oh, my dear. Don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. 
Let them out of your head, my dear. Am I crazy, kitty? Tell me. No, my dear, you just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty, I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear, I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep going. Let's go to the library. Holy fuck. Just one thing like you think it's not going to get darker. It, 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 it finds a way. It, it finds a way to do it. Okay. All right, Mr. Beetle, I've got the password. Stop right there. Do you know the password? All right. Your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut them down before learning. Hmm, good. And why is that? Because we can see? If you let me in, I'll know. Because only then we can really see. Knowledge is everywhere, even in the darkness of silence. You can come inside. Have fun. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this cute dragonfly. Negative. Oh, I can't mess with the dragonfly. I see so many books. Hello, what are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. Uh, <laughs> maybe you should read something else with a lot of pictures instead. Oh, yes. Some other day, dear. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Okay. Fuck, I'm going to have to open the book up for translation, aren't I? Hello? Oh, hello. Why aren't you reading? I need to find a book. Oh, because I need to find a book and a special book first. Ah, special books are very nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Oh, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. Okay, I'm going to have to open this up. Uh, I think it was in here. Here it is. Okay. Well, I thought it was the alphabet. Maybe it's not. Um. Okay, well, I, I'm going to take a screenshot of this just in case. In case I need it over to here. Um, I think it's just by number. I think I have to try and figure out what the numbers are, though. Because this is one and one. One and one is two. Two and two. What, what was it? What was it? One and one is two. Two plus three. Two and three is five. We know four. One, two, three. This is this is four. What the fuck would five be? Two and two is three. Two and two. One and one is two. Two and three is five. Five and. Is it five and three is eight? Maybe I have to add in still. One and one is two. Two. Two and three is five. Five and three is eight. But then what would this last one be? You think it might be the X one? Maybe. Maybe this is that. Maybe that's what it's letting us know is it looks like a face. It, it does look like a fucking face. But wouldn't would there be an X without a dot? Fi uh, yeah, maybe it. Maybe it's... Oh, fucking tits. Um, I almost wanted to guess potentially the E ones, too. Uh, okay, two, it's, uh, two and three is five. Five and... Well... Five and three, but then it wants us to do five and three. So wait, and then three. So if I, okay, hold on, hold on. I think I got it. I think this is 13 because it's got one dot versus the two. And then that's, that equals three anyways. So I think we got 21, 13. Now we need to just do eight, which is not going to be that. It's probably an E. It shouldn't be any of these dots. Um... Maybe it's... Yes! Fuck yeah! I had to work... It was way better to work backwards. Holy shit. Oh, we got it. Let's go. Okay. Huh. Patterns. Okay, now what? Where the fuck is my... Uh... I already solved it. I should push the lever. Do I just... Oh! Wait, the skeleton man? That must be the wizard's bug. I can't reach it. Um, I need that ladder. Maybe if I go up here... I... 
there there was a whole book I could have clicked on. Without the fucking book, all right? I, who needs books? What am I reading? I need to. Uh. How the fuck? What the fuck? I'm looking for my special book. Why are you on? Can I borrow the ladder? You have. Uh, why are you standing on that ladder? You have wings. Uh, because this ladder was made to be used, of course. Okay. Well, um. But what if I need to use it? Then you should wait your turn. Um. But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait that long? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Oh my god. It's okay, so I need to lock myself in here, I think. There we go. Fucking dickhead. It would have taken two seconds. Two seconds for me to use that fucking ladder. Can I look at it? Oh, look at, the, look at, the, look at all this. Wow, wow. Oh, the conjoined... Wait, the conjoined twins are in here? That's interesting. Okay. Um, and th this is kind of... Mm, okay, but they're talking... It looks like they're talking about the back of the brain and shit, too. What the hell? Um, guys, I think the wizard works in, is in cahoots with the satanic guy. And he's forgotten. Because, uh, that book looked really sketchy. Um... Mickey, if you wanna, or Josh, if you guys wanna run the ad now, that way we can get out of the way before I go in to do the dialogue in the wizard tower. I've got the next piece of the puzzle. I've got the book. Sir, here's your book. It was inside the music box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the itward lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. Itward, again, itward. Itward was the shit in the asylum. Calling it an itward lock. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Oh, man. Fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go back home. Wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do it with other things, like humans? Of course, but only in the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm, so we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that many stones are on the amazing dancer's feet. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. Oh, it's in the club! I think I know, I'll go see. How am I supposed to get in the fucking club? Sir, I don't have the ticket to get inside the bar. Fuck yes, here we go. Don't you ha don't you have your ticket? That's odd. Can I borrow your ticket? My ticket is mine. I can't lend it out. What? Huh? Then go inside the bar yourself and take the dancer's shoes. Oh, I can't. I'm making rabbit signs, and I'm pretty close to the answer. Besides, I know you can do it. <coughs> Killing my throat. You've completed some very difficult tasks already. All right, I'll see what I can do. Bye. Fuck. Him and his fucking rabbit science. Okay, maybe now I can draw on it. Motherfucker! Hello again. Did you find your special ticket? Fuck. What do they use it for? Has four arms. Uh. Oh, fuck. I did the wrong thing. Oh, the logs I can't read. We'll figure it out. Let's go to the bar. Okay, so check the logs. Oh! I never would have fucking thought to click that. Go inside, kitty. Mr. Midnight, come here, my dear. Do you see that hole? Maybe you can go inside. Oh, are you sure? What if someone sees us? I'll give you a secret sign if somebody comes. I'll say, 
magic paws, all right? Then you can then you have to come out right away. All right, dear, here I go. I never would have thought about that. <gasps> oh, that's the dancer, I guess. Okay. Anyway, now I can take the ticket and give it to Fran. Oh, that's scary. Giant fleas. No, thank you. Okay, so I need the ticket. I probably have to knock some shit over. The audience is immersed in this action. The, uh, maybe if I go up to the stage. The dancers move over from another world. Can I not take the ticket? There we go. Okay. I like that they're drinking milk in there. I have the ticket. I have it. You're incredible, Kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Okay. Here we go. Hello again. Did you find your ticket? I did. Here's my ticket. Look, sir. It seems the ticket I, I found its way into my hands. What? Let me see it. Hmm. That can't be right. It just... It can't... I already let someone in with that ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. Huh? But how do you know it's somebody else's ticket? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. All right, then. Is there any chance I can get inside? I mean, is it possible? When you get your own ticket, little lady, you'll be more than welcome to. Son of a fuck. What if I... <gasps> Maybe I can copy it now. Fucking finally! This is what I wanted to do from the fucking start! Ah! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> ticket from Fran and Kitty can go in party. Fucking Christ. <sighs> Look, sir, I think I'm on. Oh, I see. But you simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever, little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Enjoy the show. You came, how nice, are you enjoying the show? Yes, very much, but I need the dancer's shoes and I don't know how to get them. Haha, -ha, so you like to dance? He's a very good dancer, I've never seen him fall. So he's like the very best dancer in the world? The world, I would say the universe, he always follows the beat. I see, well thank you, have to go. All right, these guys are all focused. Hello sir, I need your shoes. Why won't you answer me, please? Uh, I think I gotta stop the band. He's concentrating, I think. Ugh. Oh, I won't bother. I won't bother them now. Hello, miss. Are you having a good time? Have you seen my ticket? Hmm, I think I... I have to go. Why don't we give it to her? Here's your ticket, miss. I'm sorry, but I took it and I wanted to give it back. Oh, goodness, you're very <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Aw. What if, what if I kill him? Sometimes things don't work, those things don't work. Okay, what if I kill those? Okay, um, I feel like it looks very old. Can I, can I take their drink? Hmm. Hello, hi, how are you? Do you know, I'm fine. Do you by chance know a certain Mr. Antonio the Greatest? Of course! He was a huge trumpet player a few years ago. My mother loved his music. Oh, so he was real. I saw him in the human world. He's very old now. Really? Wow, the human world. Well, you know, when we grow old, we go. We all go to visit other realities to see if we've missed anything. Oh, that's why he was there in my reality. We humans don't do that, I think. Oh, it's quite fun. I love to get letters from my mother. She tells me many things. Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, it does sound fun. Well, I have to keep going. Have a nice day. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, bye. Never thought that actually... Maybe the ladybug? Ladybug. Maybe she'd expect somebody or maybe not. Huh. I have to do something to trick the dancer. Oh, I heard a creature here talking about layered realities and time and such. Rhythm and... Rhythm and seasons are important in this land. Everything is connected. I see. So I have to think that all time and space matters and rhythm, of course. Okay, so maybe I need to change the season while I'm in here. Fuck! Uh, 
Okay, so let's go. Nice, he's not dancing yet. Okay. Hello? Hello, would you like an autograph? What's the, uh, not really. What's the trumpet player doing, sir? Ah, he's fixing the piano. The tuning must be perfect so we can start the show. Ah, I see, thank you. Interesting. I like, wow, Cruz's first thought for all this was unaliving them. Listen, it happens, okay? There's a lot of killing in this game. Okay, let's talk to the guy. Hello, M dancer, mister, I really need your shoes. And why is that? The shoes belong to the dancer. I'm gonna lie, I'm a dancer as well. I'm a dancer and I need them to uh, dance with the wizard. Oh, I'm sorry, what did you just say? Oh my God, he can't fucking hear me. All right, ad break should be over now. I want your shoes. You want what? A little lemonade? You seem a little tense. I No, sir, I don't want any lemonade. Where did you get your shoes from? Hmm, you should drink a little lemonade, at least to quench your thirst. <sighs> sir, let me explain. I need your shoes. The wizard needs them. Oh, but that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me. And uh, as you see now, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. But if you raise your feet, I could take them. Hmm, I can't, it can't be done. Only on the very day when both my feet are up in the air. Only then can my shoes be taken. Otherwise, I will stand forever. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. Bye. What the fuck? When both his feet are in the air. Okay, so I think when he's dancing, I take him while his feet are in the air. I need your shoes. Why won't you ask? Maybe? I think I have to time it. I'm assuming that's what it means, but they always kind of are in the air. Fuck, maybe not. I was wrong. Uh, let's see here. Uh, maybe if, when the fuck does he have his, both his feet in the air? <gasps> well, no, that guy's different. He's not anywhere else, is he? Maybe if I'm in here... Oh, I didn't think I could be in here during this time. Nice! Okay, cool. So I just need to break it. I'm going to assume this means it's untuned now, but... We'll see. They keep fixing it. Uh, maybe there's something else. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm confused. They keep correcting it. Is there any... Do I just leave it now? Okay. Ne yeah, this is definitely faster now. Now, he's, now that he's not looking, I can take his shoes. Easy peasy. Get fucked, Mr. Dancer. Uh, shoes. Here's the dancer's shoes. I have the shoes. They're pretty. Look. Oh, you did it. You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. 
Thank you, sir. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. Did I call my tea? I did. All right, tea. The, la the last one. Air. I recognize this feather. It belongs to the Palatrust. Yeah, I saw him badly injured. He'll be fine. He has the pink water. That fixes everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Go visit the old Volacus mechanical doll. My wand will be there. I I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Okay, sir. I'll, I'll bring your wand back. <coughs> okay, time to go get the wand. Finally, we mess with the doll. Holy shit, 10 years later. Oh, it does have his wand now. Okay, so I probably need to find a way. I'm assuming I can't just grab it. I wonder if, like, I can hand it off. Maybe not. Hmm. When the seasons change, whatever hand it's touching. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, uh... Um, hi, Edgar. I don't know if I can reach this. Okay. But they're not, I can't really seem to get it into that hand. And the others don't really reach over to it. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't have to change the seasons. They just have to cross, period. Okay. How do I get it? Okay, so that one, clearly. That takes it. It goes up. How am I supposed to get it to the other hand? It finally, holy shit, it would not, I swear I've been doing that and it would not cross it over. Oh my God. I was doing the thing, same, I did that five times. Stinky puzzle. Uh, I need to give him the wand. Here's your wand, sir wizard. Oh, magnificent, splendid, you did it. Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. These stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door, but you, you are the only one who can turn the key <coughs> and actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king said he, he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Wait, I was expecting you can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Oh, that is not reassuring at all. Yes, let's make you a human. Give me your clothes. I need to smell it. He's going to smell my fucking clothes. <coughs> Think about your body, your head, your leg, and other leg. And your arm, both of them. Now concentrate. Don't you sniff or close either, Chet. Randomly selected elements find the path to your tree essence. Become friend the human now. What if I? Uh, are you alright? Uh, 
Bro, what if I wanted to stay a tree? That be, Staying a tree is pretty OP. The only thing you have to worry about is someone catching you on fire. But like, you're, you're, you're practically, I mean, dude, being a tree is pretty great. What, why are you, hi you you're hiding? What happened? Oh, wow. Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. Well, thank you again, sir. This is really grand. See you soon. My darling friend, you're human again. Welcome back. Thank you, kitty. It feels great. All right, here we go. Down we go. Uh, I'm going to hope the king is in his throne room now. Yeah, like, like Druid Groot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh. Everything is fine. It feels like heaven. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. That's like future us. That looks like us. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill traitors. Because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised to stay by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did. Who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, Fran. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the only one who's by your side. Now let's get rid of the traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Go away! Go away! It wasn't me! She fucking stabbed the shit out of him. Mr. Midnight. Fran, what's wrong? Why, why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors are right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you can become human again. And you became human again. It's a very good indeed. My dear, let me wipe away your tears. Aw, Mr. Midnight's so sweet. I don't want to hurt you, my dear. And I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that because you love me. Yes, kitty. I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters inside of you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, let's do that. <clears throat> Aww. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? Oh, right. I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. I was going to say, I feel like we could live a pretty peaceful life here. All right, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh, wow. We're going home, kitty. Oh, here's the great wizard. Oh, Zyre the king, good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It'll be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay, a very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Volokas. Vol Volokas. And she isn't ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. So wait, we're going to maybe come back here at some point? What the? But ready for what? Uh, yeah, if I were there, I, that you'd go back. You don't want to stay with the tree people? For real? Magic stones create the lock that only the humans can break. Here we go. The gumballs are in. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, do I have to, like, turn these or some shit? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then this probably goes... Oh, fuck. I went one too far. Oh, I have to make the pentagram again. How comforting. Every 
Oh, man. Again. Oh, I smell victory! Again! <coughs> you did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave something for you to remember me. We won't forget you. You're a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Palantrest gave me this for you. Okay, that's a big box. Oh, thank you. Tell Palantrest that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital, but anyway... Uh, oh, I'll tell him, and don't worry, Palantrest is better now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, before you go, you have to know. Before you return to your reality, you'll pass through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run, they're quite slow. And you're telling me this now? Huh? That sounds scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I, I like you all very much. Goodbye. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to just... Whoa, okay, he was not... Okay, I have to jump. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't see the hole in the ground. I, I, I was focused on the rock ahead that I forgot holes could be in the ground. Okay. <laughs> One death. <laughs> Okay, I think it's actually better if I just keep my camera here. Huh. Here we go. Huh. Got double jump. Oh, fuck. Huh. Saved. Okay. We must run, Mr. Midnight. I didn't think I was going to make that one. Huh. Oh, he's stuck. Get fucked, idiot. We made it. Chapter 4, Part 1. My imaginary friend. We're by a cliffside. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. There's a jam jar right there. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. Oh, Fran. I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look. I think we're on the other side of the bridge. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into a thirsta? Yes, I remember. Great. Let's keep going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Ah, oh, are these my pills? Wow, but where are they going? Wait, can I just look at... Oh, I can look down? Moonlight, it's very romantic. It's very odd. We fell into the thirst, but there wasn't any water before. I mean, maybe that much time has passed. Someone's trying to bait us, dude. They've got our pills on a hook. They know. They fucking know. Right, doesn't he kind of look like Edgar's twin? Except it's got more yellow eyes. Oh, it says home. Something tells me someone is fo trying to fool me. Pills, don't move. Or show me on the way back home. Oh, no, we're in a trap. Oh, no, I shouldn't have touched the pills. My bad, Fran. Bad, bad. Shit. Don't worry, I've got my knife. I'll cut us down. Whee! Oh. Oh. <gasps> Fran, you're already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until 2.35. And I, as I see it, you're not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Wait, so Itward has been the skeleton this entire time? So they were just casually writing Itward's name in blood in the asylum? I thought it had something to do with the asylum, period. Uh, this is interesting. Okay, this may, okay. Itward, do, do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I'm the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh? I, I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one who made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They only believed it was me. You see? But that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. Oh, I wait. <laughs> so, there's so many layers to this. I thought they were being bamboozled by the fucking goat demon. So you're telling me this guy was the one that fucking cursed the twins? Holy sh! Okay, man, oh man. Okay, this guy's fucked up. He is not our friend. <laughs> but let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? 
Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat? I always come by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar. Yes, I, I can't deny it. I exist because you exist. The truth is that you were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we don't have time to talk about this right now. I'm actually here to take you home. Follow me. Uh, uh, take me home? I, I can't let you do that. I don't know you. I won't hurt you. I'm not made out of darkness. I'm your friend. Hmm. All right. You seem nice. I'll go with you, but I, I don't trust you yet. Stranger danger! That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. Okay. Wow, he's got the same shoes as Mr. Dancer. Okay. I don't know why I decided to give him this voice either. Th this doesn't look like home. Behold! The Itward flying machine. What do you think? The, the fuck? Uh, uh, I love it. it. It has many buttons to push. Yes, this gorgeous piece of machinery. I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I arrange the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. Why is 235 important here? Luna, thank you for gifting five subs. And Icy, thank you for the 15 month three sub. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Um, we'll fly as soon as I can. Okay, right around said that. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I, I don't understand. It's when time becomes slower. That gives us a chance to enter ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we're standing at the endless limits of the second reality. But you're part of the third reality. Do you understand? Yes, I, I do understand. It sounds insane. But sir, should I just wait until you're done fixing the machine? What? Of course not. You can help by getting water and fireberries, all right? Uh, all right. I'll, I'll better do something than uh, nothing at all, I guess. Great. I like the little bird chirping with the steam. Here is my amazing handmade bucket for water. I made it myself. Wow, what a, what a cute little watering bucket. Ah, and the, and the fire berries. You'll realize which berries to pick up because of the fire. All right, but sir, can I just ask, why, why do you need the berries and the water? Ah, well, the berries are incredibly good fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The kamalas. Oh, kamalas, I see. I hope they don't come near the flying machine. We never know, but we do know that they don't like water, yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Okay, great. Invisible to my eyes? Hmm, I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap in, like, one second. Anyway, I'll go get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great. I'll be preparing the machine. All right, it word it word kind of the homie here. Can I can I touch the bird? Mechanical bird. Okay, well let's get high here, I guess. Nom nom nom. I'm regretting. I I, I am. Wow. Just when this game can't get more fucked, right? Um. Wow, so much hair and it's so shiny. Does it look normal here? Yeah, it's still look okay. Okay, let's go over here, I guess. This looks normal. Oh! Oh, here's the fire berries. Oh, the berries are on fire. They must be the, the them. I can't reach them from here. What if I climb up this? Get out! Get out! You're trespassing on my territory! Huh? Excuse me, I thought you were dead. How could you possibly think that? You have no manners, young lady. I'm very sorry, but you seem to be all rotten and bloody. Me, rotten and bloody? I think you're misunderstanding the situation. What do you mean? What do you mean to say, Mr. Moose? Mr. Moose? But I'm not a moose. I'm a deedle worm. A, a, excuse me? A, a deadly worm? No, 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 no. A deadly worm. A deedle worm. I don't go around killing creatures. I just returned to the soil while creatures took from it and they don't need any more. But I only see a talking moose. What are you on? Oh! <gasps> Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, he was hiding in the corpse. Gotcha. Down here, creature. Can't you see me? Oh, my God. Oh, there you are. My, You're so tiny. Hello, my name is Fran. Hello, Fran. Can I ask, why did you touch the moose in the first place? 
Normally only scavengers touch dead animals. Are you one of them? Of course not. I was trying to see if I could climb on it and reach the fire berries. I see. I think it's possible. The moose is still very sturdy and solid. But the fire berry but the fire berries are on fire. You might hurt yourself. Yes, I see the fire, but I have to get them somehow. Good luck with that. Climb on now. I'll keep working. Thank you, sir. Okay. That that worm was kind of cool. Okay, grab them, friend. I can't take the fire berries. They're on fire. Okay, uh, maybe uh, it would work if, the, if I had... Oh, oh, so I have to get water in the bucket first. Okay. Right? He's like a cute little Grim Reaper thingy. Aw. Hello, are you those shiny insects that get stuck on trees because you're curious? We usually get stuck, yes. How do you know this? You're not one of us. I have met some of your kind before. I helped them to get free for, uh, of their curiosity. Ah, that's very nice of you. Curiosity can lead us to unexpected situations. Yes, I think curiosity is a good thing, but are you stuck? Not at all. We're just trying to ma make out hair, our hair the longest hair ever. Wow, that sounds really amazing. Good luck. I have to go now. Bye. I might need to use their hair, though. It's very odd. I wonder if we really fell from... Yeah, see, now it's, like, bloody and stuff. Um, it's very odd. Wait, what did, what did that say? Oh, no, I can't reach the water from here. I won't... Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe I... We're not stuck leave this alone. What if... Can I not use some of the hair? I need help, please. Would you let me tie this bucket to your beautiful hair? Tie a bucket to our hair? Why? That sounds insane. Oh, it's not insane at all. I need water from under the cliff, but I can't reach it. I need to use your long, beautiful hair as a rope. Please help me. All right, we'll help you. Tie the bucket really tight. Oh, thank you. You're really nice. Fill up the whole bucket, please. Aw. W. The bucket's now full of water. Oh, thank you, shiny insects. I have to go now. Um, home is a place where you all wish to belong, but do, does home belong somewhere? What? I'm sorry, I don't really understand the question. It was a rhetorical question. I just wanted to say that you're, you are your own home. Welcome yourself inside. You'll find many doors to open. Oh, that sounds mysterious and beautiful. I'll try to do that some other time. Bye! I don't think she understood. <laughs> the character reminds you of America, America McGee's Alice in Wonderland. Okay, I've got the bucket of water. Now I should be able to get the fire berries. Oh, it says hell now. I don't want to go there. <laughs> get out, scavengers! Uh, it's me, sir. Can I climb on the moose again? Go ahead. All right, let's... Oop. Got the berries. The fire is gone. I can take the berries now. I just can't pull them off with my hands. They're firmly attached. Uh, maybe cut. There we go. Got him. All righty. Now we can climb down. Swap realities. And go back over. And let him know. Did you find the fire berries and water already? We need them for the journey back home. I did. Sir Edward, here's the bucket full of water. I got help from the shiny insects. You mean the luciferns? They're nice, yes, but only when you see them in this reality. They're very dangerous if you ever get them in the fifth reality. They can burn you. Wow, burn me? Well, I haven't gone into the fifth reality yet. I don't recommend it. We're reason <clears throat> What's reasonable there are the worst things you'll ever experience. Oh, I forgot to thank you for the water. Thank you, friend. All right, here's the berries. Sir, I brought the fire berries, but they're not on fire anymore. Magnificent. These will do just fine. Thank you very much, my darling. Uh, Fran, it's 2.34. The journey is about to begin. Let's get inside the machine. Here we go. Here we go. It's 2.36. There's a high probability of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, Fran? Uh... It sounds exciting. Palantras told me about the different realities, but where are they? You'll soon understand. The answers aren't e easy to recognize. Soon? But why not now? Time proceeds as it is in, as it has to in order for you to be alive. Oh, he's got a pedal. <laughs> <laughs> if it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? 
I'd rather say, through time, you must explore and experience to understand. That means the answers will come when you find them. Not when others tell you or how to or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You've awoken my curiosity. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, Fran, we have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. Okay. You'll need them to get the fuel mixed and the water pump working again. You'll find all the information you need when you enter the room to the left. But feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Hmm, but I've never done anything like this before. That makes it more exciting. Have fun, my darling. All right, I'll go now. Holy, okay, there's a... So we go in here. Maybe I should push the button to open the door, okay? There we go. Aw, oh, look! Look, Kitty! Look, it's Mr. Midnight again. A fixed one. That's a huge spinning top. Okay, we got some mixing shit here. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to make something. What happens if I... Well, maybe it'll explode. Or I have to do the right combination, probably. Because it has a list here. Oh, I can change it. Maybe it's from left to right. N166 PL33. Wait, did I? Nine, oh, I did, I did the wrong one first. PL33 uh, 2PF 2PF and then no AFM and then, well, th that wouldn't be the case because it's not, I don't think, I think this needs to be turned on order to work. Oh, hey. And then, okay, okay, okay. Maybe. Okay, okay, look at me go. Uh, where would this, where could this one go? Maybe here? No. Maybe there? Pink hose is in the spot now. Okay, okay. Do you have inside, what do you have inside the little box? Okay, so maybe, I think this needs to be, okay, do I not just turn this? I thought I just turned that. N -n -n oh, maybe now. Isn't that gas? Son of a fuck. I need to call my sister. The chem wizard. Reality, ultra reality view. Okay. Chemical mixture. Oh, here we go. N166 is the one on the right. Okay. N166. And then it is... N166 goes into R15. Okay. And then R15 goes into A18. Oh, shit. Okay, so I might have to move some of these tubes around. R15 goes into A18. R15... R15 goes into A18. Uh, well, it said it was in place, so I guess I can't move them. Okay, unless maybe I have to move them around because they're set up differently. That might be what we actually have to do here. Potentially. We'll see. Okay. I need to find something to light. Wait. I have matches, don't I? Okay. So, N166, R15, and then 2PF. R15, 2PF. 2PF. A18 and AFM. A18, AFM. A18 AFM. We are missing AFM, so we'll have to find that. And that'll go on the far left. Okay, it's cooking. It's cooking, though. Alright, what we got here? I'm gonna assume the berries. Uh, water? Uh huh. Okay, the pump is now filled with water. Probably have to turn it on. Oh, that's not. That's gonna be a problem. I might need to fix that first. 
Oop, nope, 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 wrong. Um, okay, let's go try checking the other room for stuff. Uh, vase, no flowers, pencil, I don't need that, tubes. Do I have to? I don't mess with this machine, though. What's this? Oh, this is probably to help me out. So that obviously has to go into there. The switch needs to be to the right. That needs to be probably... That needs to be horizontal. And then I can light the fire. That sounded like a submarine. Yeah, let me cook, dude. Call me Walter White. Okay, hold on. So let me fix this. Okay, so... Water. Um, I do... I can't turn the fire on, there's no gas connecting. Oh, wait. Um, there we go. Oh, that, okay, so that was the gas being on, so then I keep this lit. Um, and then, I think it, I mean, it's not giving a green light yet, but I'm guessing it's, working that or i need to still tape i might still need to tape that hole because it makes sense that we're kind of losing water from that still okay i'm in danger i am the dry danger okay okay let's go check this room all right let's see here cute little chandelier um oh there's a ladder only ladder leads to the door but it's closed okay I wonder what kind of thing this machine does. Oh, well, it looks like a mathematical problem. Am I able to? This looks like something I need. There are many things I've never seen. What about, what's this? Hmm, the keyhole requires a key for sure. Feels like something's missing. Okay, so I need to find a key. What about the stack of books? Nothing, what about over here? All the cat, I wonder if it word really does love black cats. Okay, let's go check here. Well, that's where we just came from. Well, then what's this other room? Nothing happened. Hmm. Uh, what about now? No. I can't see very well. What happens if... Is the whole ship dark now? No. I mean, I guess it would have been dark in here, too. Hmm. I can't see. What's the point of turning this off, though? I can't go up there. I can't. There's nothing to take from this room. Oh, you know, I don't. Well, I don't. Oh, I can use my pills on the ship. I forgot about that. Uh, I forgot to give myself some love. It's like it's a minutes and hours of the day. Yeah, I totally forgot. God, Itward looks terrifying in this realm. Oh, they're here. Okay, now I've got the key. Okay. Uh, are you here to kill Itward? I'm very sorry. I wonder if anything changes if I turn the light on. Nope. Okay. Okay, now I can put the key in here. I totally forgot I could take the pills on the ship. Hello? There we go. In a world made of darkness and light, two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm. But neither side could decide if what they were just if if what if what if they were just right Mia was angry and Clara was sad and this was because they both were mad oh insane little girls inside of their minds itward the creature of the night He always came around and in dreams or reality. Teaching the girls the splendor of duality. Ah, he's looking at Dr. Seuss it up in here. But they couldn't understand. Itward was a friend. 
Itward was the link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia one day decided to get rid of Itward once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Oh shit. Dead and gone. The sisters kept complaining about each other. It's all your fault, Clara. It's all your fault, Mia. Then Itward came, Itward came to visit for the last time. And he said, you are both trapped in a world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies all together to prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance to understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day a black cat goes missing. And the well's magic door is unlocked. Mm. The end. Interesting. Well. So it kind of was their own fault. In a way. Hey, kitty. The flying machine's incredible. Are they still here? Am I still able to watch it in this? Interesting. Okay. Um, oh, it switches me back. Hmm. I can't go in this room. Sir, can you tell me again what I'm supposed to do? Get the fuel mix and the water pump working. Um, just follow the wall and walls and the mutual, but not. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, oh wait, there's tape. There's tape. There's tape. There's tape. Nice. That, okay. Do I need the hammer? Uh, shoe book. Ew! 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 A hose. Okay. There we go. Gotcha. It's like I knew I'm I'm missing fucking something. Okay. Uh the top, I think. Yep, there we go. Okay. <sighs> now I have to figure out the missing fucking ingredient. There's a missing chemical. Um I swear it, it's in this room, but I don't know why I can't grab it. It's on the shelf right here. Maybe I can grab it in this realm. God damn it. What do I fucking do to grab that? Let me double check I've got everything else. Okay, R15, 2PF, R15, R15, 2PF, A18. A18. Okay, so I had that one. I did have that one wrong. Um, AFM. How the fuck? AFM is missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I have to figure out how to mix it? Fireberries. Fireberries. Oh! I didn't fucking. Wait, did it show me that the whole time? Oh my god. The fireberries that aren't on fire in the vase. Really? 
What do I... What do you have inside the little bottle? Um... Is this not done? Do I have to light them, maybe? Uh... I have to have something wrong. N166. R15 and 2PF. R15, 2PF. A18. Had that right. Okay, I don't need to change that. What the fuck am I doing wrong here? Do I have to drag this? Is it this hose? Got it. Okay, I figured it out. I thought I had it all, I didn't. Okay. Thank fuck. There we go. I think it's done. Super Chemistry Master Franbo. Okay. So let's go tell him. There he is. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed quite well too. I did all you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working out perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms and I'm, I'm deeply afraid of it. Dude, what is with rabbits in this fucking game? <laughs> Would you like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I just can't imagine one kind of rabbit. And, and is, it tro is it a chocolate rabbit or is it a rabbit with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's just staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me. Otherwise, I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me. All right, he's got it locked in this room. <laughs> Look at me, so scared! There, you see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? It's a fucking toy. <laughs> From what I see, it's just a toy, sir. It doesn't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't, I don't dare touch it. All right, sir, I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. It's a toy rabbit. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? He just took Mr. Midnight. What? Don't go. Mr. Midnight, this is not funny. <gasps> that fucking dick. Oh, I knew Edward was up to shit. He took my cat. Hello, are you Edward's other head? Okay, so there's numbers here. One... Two and three. Um, oh, okay. I got I got I got a battery uh, from that. That little shit. Okay, let's see if I can take the wrench. Nice, I've got the wrench. Do I need to pick up the carrots? Okay, I'm speed running this one. Let's see if there's anything else I'm supposed to be clicking. Okay, can I open this box? Okay, nice. I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, now battery in. Okay. Nope, don't want to do that yet. What about this? Okay. Look at me go. Huge brain. Huge brain. Is is that my mom and dad? Are you? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, that's lovely. Mommy? Daddy? Who did this to you? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's locked. The thief always knows what to do. The reset button. Uh, I'm gonna look at this first. Did that do anything? Oh, the teapot. Hello? Is this to make music with the wind? Okay, I'm gonna guess... Maybe into here? But I don't know how to... A water symbol, I guess this connected to some... Uh... Okay, I think... Fuck. Yes! Can I put water in here now? No. I don't know what that point of that is, though. Okay, fucking. <gasps> Surprise, Fran! Happy birthday! What? You did all- He did all that? To- Huh? All- What? Huh? There's no way, right? Because that's a really fucked up way! That's a really, really, really fucked up way to say happy birthday! Mr. Midnight's fine. He's he's sitting there, but like I I just that's that's really messed up, dude. Oh, a birthday party. Whoa! I, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. We lied in order to divert your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear friend. Come and eat cake. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's toxic. All right, thank you, Kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. Uh, the cake is made of all your favorite ingredients, Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you, from all members of the ship. That means all of us naturally born are handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Uh... Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yeah, go ahead, open it. Mr. Midnight! Wow, a cat doll! Aw, thank you so much! I love it! It's beautiful! It may give your eyes a new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is that what happens when I take the red pills? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like an explanation? Yes, please. Look, what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at this exact coordinates of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Some are faster or just invisible to the human eye. Because of time, humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. You have a different perception of the environments. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure, sir. I think, maybe? I feel a bit dizzy. Ah, that may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to go home? Did, did you hear that, kitty? Yeah, we're about to arrive. Really? How, how exciting. All right, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear. What's happening, Mr. Midnight? Are, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship doesn't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I have to drive the machine again. The automatic driver was destroyed by the Kamalas. 
There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans away the dirt. Hurry up. Hurry now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Shit. Oh my goodness, Kitty. I'm scared. Me too, Fran. We have to go find the Kamalas. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. It's got to be on the roof. It's got to be on the roof. Because this. Okay, maybe not. Can I use this together? Nice. Okay, fuck yeah. Yay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck the Kamala sub, dude. Alright, where's this little shit at? Is he in this room? <gasps> there he is! Wait, that's yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Use the water on him. I'm clever wait, what? Seriously? I can't? Huh? There we go. Uh, don't run away. Where are you going? Okay, now he's up top. Now I'm gonna have to. Get, I'm gonna splash him with all that water. You ready? Ready for some? Oh, that's just awkwardly. That's one more, one more time. Right. Fuck you, buddy. Be cleansed, you little shit. I have to go one more over. It's like a little boss fight. Yeah. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. We're out of water now too, which is not ideal. Itward. Itward, sir, we did it. The Kamala is gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. No, please, don't tell me this. It's not fair, not fair. Oh my God. I'll always take care of you, my dear. Aww. I still think what it did was pretty fucked up. And the ship kept going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. But that's a very sad ending, Itward. Tell me another story, please. All right. This story, this is the story of Fran Burrow and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic of everything. I, I promise, Itward, I'll never forget you. Good. Now it's time to sleep. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Chapter 4, Part 2, Doctor's Prescription. Huh? Okay, so there's, there's the bike. Dude, this is so, this is so trippy. I can't tell what's real or not anymore, bro. I, I, just when I think I've got a grasp on what is going on in this game, it just gets crazier. It word? Ow, oh, kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh dear, yes, we're alive. Hmm, but it word is gone. But he brought us home. Uh, we're outside of town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you would be happier than this. What is it? It's just that I wonder where it where it is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yeah, Kitty, but I took all the pills already, see? The bottle's empty. Anyway, let's go home. Maybe Itward will come see me someday. Is it hack- well, I mean, I guess so. Fuck. Can I open this? <gasps> I, I was curious because there was a button there the whole time. Red bicycle. It was it. Red bicycle or mine. Oh my goodness. This is our street, kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. 
I guess I have to go this way. And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember. Remembered. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Is Aunt, Aunt Grace? Hello? Maybe she's not at home. Dear, do you have the key to get inside? No, I, I don't have the key, Kitty, but I know where the hidden key is here somewhere. I just need to remember where. Hmm, let's find it. It's probably in one of the plants. Mr. Midnight, would you like to some, uh, would you like some more adventure? Not really, no. Why do you ask, my dear? I thought maybe you would like to climb the, on this plant holder. Oh no, I'm too tired. If you do it, Kitty, I'll make your favorite meal, please. You can't get me to do things for food, but Kitty. All right, Fran, I'll climb only if you, we don't find the key. Okay. Bugs, bugs. I took the key, Fran. It says I took the key, signed Fran. Fran? That's, that's me. But I haven't taken the key and I didn't write that note. Come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yeah, it is very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Ugh, all right then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Oh no, that's Dr. Dearn. Fran, I can't believe it. You're alive. Where were you? Get away from me. I won't go back to the asylum. I've been looking for you a, for a, I've been looking for you a long time. How did you escape? That's none of your business. Leave now, please. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed through the second floor window, sir. Mr. Midnight, isn't that your missing cat? Yeah, but we found each other in the end, sir. May I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I, I don't believe your cat's in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. He, you don't know that my cat's dead? That son of a bitch. Fucking Dr. Dearn. Mr. Midnight. Mr. Midnight. I'm sorry, Fran. I, I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum before I, because I knew too much. I found things that I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Family murdered on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found early this week, brutally murdered in their residence on Hay Street. The investigation, investigating police officer Marco Holma said, it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick instantaneous death. Also, there was no signs of a struggle in the house. So the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. So there's the confirmation she's been dead. There is the confirmation she's been dead. And going back and forth, because this was this was also when we were going back and forth between realities with Little Misfortune. I'm not I'm not really surprised by that, but they yeah they are claiming she's dead. Maybe she is alive, but it's weird that Doctor Dearn is like claiming to see us again. You know what I mean? It makes me think we're like reality hopping again. Dear Gladys, I let the news. There, there's two ways this essentially is like kind of could go right now. Either she's been there, they've been holding her, and they miss they're missing her, or now this is actually Doctor Dearn. I don't know. I think they're they're hopping right now or going back and forth. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper know about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding about her parents' murder. Um, yeah, so Gladys, okay. 
Um, Fran is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with family in heaven. Family in heaven. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplamatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplamatin creates a door between the conscious and subconscious mind. The problem is if the ectoplamatin is too high, the door will open too wide. And that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I'm a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel to other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be an effect of the duotine. Nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean, that you're imagining things. That's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with the knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father hurt you with a knife with his knife, doctor? What? Who told you that? You did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald, who knows? I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I had stayed in a Thursday with Paul and Tress and the great wizard. I told you, you should have done it. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantras, and my kitty is all alone now. Palantras, Itward, please, Fran. Palantras is the doctor of Ithursta. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home from, from with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father too. The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of Clara and Mia. The Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum who claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Mm. Okay, so that room was theirs that they were in. Where it was written Edward on the wall and we didn't see anybody. They lived, They had. They must have been in that room at some point. Edward, I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. Um, but what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald is experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reaction of their DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that makes this... Th th that is so much more fucked up. <laughs> It was already fucked up, but god damn. Yeah, homie is saying it so casually, right? That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Pedo napping? No! Bad, 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 Dr. Dan! Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Palantrest was right about you. You're not a bad doctor, you're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Fun fact, that actually happened in real life as well. What the fuck? Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. I still think Dr. Dearn is like potentially Mr. Demon, man. But we'll see what happens. Well, hello, stone woman. Are you sleepy? This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Uh... Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help make a, help us make things right. What do you mean, right, sir? I mean that we can find the guilty ones. We will have justice. Use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir, and, and with what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we need to open the coffins. We're, we're gonna just dig up our parents' graves and see them chopped up like little sauces. Oh, come on, come on. Okay. All right, sir, I'll help. Maybe the deedle worms ca came already. Who? Hmm. Anyway, uh, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, all right? Yes, Dr. Dion, I'll see you soon. What the fuck? 
Yeah, we're gonna just casually grave rob. Martin Bow, Lucia Bow, Dagon Hart, and Fran Bow. Little candle, keep my parents warm. <laughs> okay, guess we're going right. No name, no flowers. It's stuck. There must be a shovel storage room. Just my luck. Um, maybe we need to go tell him. Because it doesn't look like we can really go around or anything. Uh, is he just gone now? Maybe I can drive away. Oh, hey, crowbar. How convenient. Hold on, can I... Yeah, I, I hopefully they're not all chopped up. Yeah, hopefully they were cremated, because, like, yeah. Yeah. Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh, my goodness. A giant. <laughs> oh, please. Don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see. I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. I swear to God, if we have to give our parents skin to this guy for the mating ritual so that they can pinecone fuckaroo. Oh my God. Leather? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedle worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find that leather. Um, Sebastian, do you, could you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, or we could help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door again, giant miss. But where will I find that? Ugh, all right, I'll see what I can do. Maybe from the car? The car seat? A uh, knife, maybe? Yes! Oh god, I'm so smart. Let me go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have to use my parents' skin. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the pine Pinezillas, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. <laughs> Ouch, are you all right, Sebastian? S Sebastian? I'm, I'm all right, miss, yes. Good, well, thank you. You open the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Ah, Fabio? Oh, <gasps> he's hopping, he's running away from the bush. Did he fuck, pinecone fuck someone else first before him? Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. They're going to use it to make a little pinecone condom around their little pinecone dicks. Hmm, there's nothing in here that I can use. This isn't wonderful at all. I need to find... Oh, my God. There's no There's no shovel in here? Fuck. Oh, he found one. There you are, Fran. Look, I found a pair of shovels. Let's dig. Nice. Here we go. We're going to dig, chat. I am a Fran, and I'm schizophrenic and digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. <laughs> well, now we'll have to find something to open the coffins. Oh, I have a crowbar. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed to open a door. Do you want it back? No, no need, Fran, but you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir, I'll open them. I feel like her dead body's going to be in here. Huh? Huh? What? What am I doing wrong? He just told me to use the fucking crowbar. There we go. Ah! What am I doing wrong? They just told me to use the fucking crowbar. Is that supposed to be, is it supposed to be working? Oh, I just have to click it for it. God damn it. Oh, hi, Mom. Wait, Mom's in one piece. 
Dad's also in on peace. The deedle worms took your eyes. <gasps> Mr. Midnight's in there? I'm not in the coffin, great, but that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight's at home. Poor kitty, I wonder if you had a name. I'll name you Albert. Whew, I'm not, I, I'm not in the coffin, great. But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight's at home. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this. Also, the dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Friend, I told you, your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home, and I'll show you. Please? All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I really hope Mr. Midnight's there. I swear to God. I swear to God, dude, if that's not... <gasps> oh no oh and he's gone oh god vanished into the hands of darkness you have no manners i'm not afraid of you anymore i've taken away from you the light the one you love the one you respect and the one you desire to love you oh does it mean he took midnight fuck oh Oh shit, he got her. I think it's him talking. You broke a little girl. The house of madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, friend. Wake up! Oh my god. Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Oh, we're back home! Chained to the bed with our mom. Our Aunt, Gra Aunt Grace? Is that you? My darling, you finally woke up! You're at home, my dear. Am I really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away, but what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. That's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end... We must have someone to blame, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame someone else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Now, rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. What the fuck? Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Oh, false door too, dude. She's really fucking hiding shit from us, man. She's hiding us in, in like an attic or some shit, bro. What the fuck? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he's okay, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said the time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if that's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. Oh, shit. Um. It can't be open at all. Uh, maybe... No... He said it's inside. 
Someone has a... What the fuck? Hmm. Maybe I need to... Combine? Um... Hmm. We've already read this, though. And, uh... And I don't... I think maybe I just need to... Click? My slippers! I can use that... I use them when it's raining to go outside. Oh! And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello! What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog. And yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet it word already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you're broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that this is in my mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that can see me. The black ones, the white ones. Do you think you... We, why? Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit when we told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then why we see things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock your chain. It so, it so happens that, he, uh, that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh my god, so we're now... Now we're now we're baby friend. Okay, uh, what about this? Oh, it's the... Oh my god, I forgot about that. Maybe the picture frame. So we're in the asylum, it seems. Okay, she said she's a key collector. Ah, oh, there's Itward and the axol and uh, the axolotl. There's our key collection. Okay, okay. Do I need anything else? Someone get this girl the groupie socks? Dude, she's literally got a stray jacket in here. <laughs> Can I go out here? No. Okay. All right. Uh, so... Use this on her. Mm, this one looks like this type of key. Let's try this first. Well, it doesn't fit. What about this one? Uh, that one looks like to a, uh, maybe, maybe this one. Yes, I was gonna say the others look like a little too decorative for this. Thank you so much, Fran. You really have a lot of keys in there. Yeah, yeah, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Pearl and Trace told me that if we meet someday, I should give you this to you. Here, I think it'll help you open something. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press open, press your eye again and open the door. We have to remember this fucking... I know, I got, it's my attempt at a kid voice now. <laughs> Press it by the ears. Ears, first twice to the left, once to the right. Oh, God. I'll, I'll probably be able to refer it. Helen Trust, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he told me that if we, if we met, you'd be ready to go about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. No, I can't tell you now. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh. Come on, friend. You must see the doctor now. Wait, can she not see us? That or she just don't give a shit. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. The nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She only, she's, she was the only one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Okay. So... Okay. Uh, press it by its ears first, twice to the left, two left, one right. Rub its only eye two times. Two left, one right. 
I too left an eye. Wait, can I not? I wait, I thought it was maybe it's the box then? I'm very confused. Uh, I totally thought we were doing something with the cat to open it. Balloons? Okay, I don't know the fuck we got that. Okay, I, my school case, I may need it. Yo, we got a creepy ass doll in here. Sucker. Uh, it has cat hair all over it. I won't lick it. Okay. Maybe different clothes? Anything hiding back here? Summer dress uh, has a big button. Maybe I need the button? about this? Anything? No. Okay. Seems like that's everything there. There's us and Mr. Midnight. Okay, dollhouse. Okay. Oh, shit. Um. Ayo, nice, nice. Dude, there's, uh, look, it's Rocky. I have to figure out how I can move these around, I think. Because there's, there's the shape of a key back here, but... It's not, there, is there something back there? What could it be? Can I not? There we go. Got it. Okay. I've got the key. Oops, I need to go back. Okay. Um, let me try to combine it with... The, no, maybe not. Okay. Imagine X. Look, it's like E.T. kind of. Maybe there was something else in here. No. Oh, there, there is. Uh... There's something back here. I not read this? Hmm. Oh! Things have changed a bit. Great, a Kamala. Nasty creatures. Excuse me? Is somebody down there? Yes, I am a sub buddy. Uh, ha have you seen a black cat? No, I haven't seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Ew. <laughs> eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are, are you all right? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Okay, so I guess I have to go back inside now. What the fuck? Oh, wait. I hear... I hear the eye this time. What else? What else can I click? Okay. They're the ears. They're actual ears. Okay. Got it. Okay. Woo! I was close. Okay. It's open. Okay, when we got the cat key this time. Nice. Okay. I want to I want to read this. Uh Mabupa Mabupa Mabuka Buka. Wake up Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. The velocus is near and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up and give up the child before the dark darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the Ekong clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light. She cried. Me Mabuka the mother of darkness will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. So we have to make the the Ekog clock, it looks like. So we need a working bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water, a soap bar, one glove black wire. We have and we have piano keys and stuff. Okay. Okay, so we'll probably have to get out of here. Let me see if I can cut. No. Okay. Um, we're gonna use this on the cat. Let me do this. Uh, there we go. Nice. 
Okay, so now this this is interesting. Okay. What the fuck? Are these all the reality numbers? What a big eye. What are you looking at? Okay, here's the key. Square key. Okay. Let's see if this... No, that doesn't work there. Doesn't work in that one. Doesn't work in that one. How about this one? There we go. Okay, we're going to... Okay, there's a key in here. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors but I, that I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get the key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to get the key then. And what are you, if I may ask? Um, well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's Den. Mabuka? Who's Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead. I need to know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. That's who's probably pretending to be our Aunt Grace, huh? The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Remar was king here. Ah, Remar, the terrible black, the son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. All right, I'll be back later anyways. I must get my friend's key. Get your friend's key. All right. Is this it words clothing? Okay, a phone. We don't. That would have been nice. Get some help. <laughs> so part working, but it was worth a shot, you know? Yeah, wake up clock, what, bottle with water, one glove. Okay, let's see if the keys open up any of the one other key we have opens up another door in here. Nice, dude, I'm getting up to, oh, hello. The f this is trippy. Intruder, infiltrator. Why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Ak Akula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. What a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything. Nothing less. Everything? Can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal? A queen? A princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends. How lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside of a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there, inside the cage. Can you describe the cat? You see? Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark, black as the deepest night. It's him. That's my friend, Mr. Midnight. I have to go find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are very brave and I respect your bravery very much. Thank you, Aku Akula. I'm a uh, friend, by the way. I'll see you around. Wow, what a lad. What a G. All right, I've got a hairbrush now. A hair, a br hair to brush my hair. Maybe, can I actually? Oh, oh, she just mentioned about brushing her own fucking hair. Oh my God, I can go in this? The fuck? Hey, there's the bar so, ooh. Ew. Okay, um, I don't have another key yet. Seems I won't budge. Okay, so I've got to find a key for that. What's over here? Okay, this bottle is perfect. I'll take it. Uh, perfect for what? How the fuck do I get over there? Oh, nice. Got a cable. Maybe I throw it? Did maybe I lasso with it? No, 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 no lasso the, the soap. Okay. Maybe I... Uh, empty case, working bulb, soap bar, black wire. Oh, okay. Um, I need to figure out how to get that. I'm assuming I'm going to have to find something to use as a bridge. What's this do? A golden snail. Okay. What's this button do? Does it change anything over here? No. Okay. 
Flip flop toaster bath. I need I need that on a shirt. Okay. Um. Does what I have change anything over here? That won't work. Hmm. What about in here? I don't feel like there's anything else in here to grab, though. Yeah, I could try that. I suppose I, I didn't think I could float with the balloons, but, you know, th that's a fair point. We are in some weird reality shit, maybe. Looking like it. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe the button from the hairdress? Maybe, but... Oh, you know what? I probably had to use the knife to get it off. Nice. Yeah, that's totally it. Good thinking. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can take from in here. Okay, let's go try the button. <laughs> and there goes my button, now what? Uh, uh, I think, oh, there's no power. Okay, so I've gotta go plug it back in. There we go. Okay, I can probably get the key from the teeth now. Okay, let's take this back now. Yeah, I can probably use that to pry open the, the teeth. <gasps> if he just opened his mouth, you know, we wouldn't be in this situation. All right, uh, let's try 103. Nope, let's try 102. There we go. Oh, it's a giant Mr. Midnight. Wow, what a big cat. We're really not gonna look exactly like Mr. Makeup. Midnight, oh, uh, I need this clock. It's tightly tied. And the, this must be for something important. Can I walk across it? Oh, nice. Okay, and now I've got the glove. Okay. Can I go in here? Does this work? Okay. It took you twice as long to figure out that part? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I really need the key hanging behind, just behind you. Excuse me, but I don't talk to strangers. You don't need to talk. Just get, let me have the key. If I chose not to talk to strangers, not listening is also part of that deal. How disappointing. I have a question. Are you stuck to this tree? I'm firmly attached to it. Why do you ask? I'm just curious. See you later. I could probably brush it. I'm gonna use my brush. But it's on fire though. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't that great? I don't know. A hair comb? What's that use? What's the use of that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. Is it dangerous? It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. All right, let's try it. All right, just promise you won't burn me, okay? I'd only burn you if I was in danger. Be gentle, nothing bad will happen. She's gonna fall after we do it. Okay, I'll be gentle. It worked. Oh wow, look at that. What's happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Okay, but how do I, the fuck do I reach the key? Maybe I lasso it. God damn it, why can't I lasso it? Uh. Hmm. Fuck. Okay. Eh. Why didn't it give me the fucking key beforehand? Shit. Oh, I had to aim at the clock. That's why. Okay. So I've got this now. Uh, working bulb, soap bar, a bottle with water. 
Hmm. Why would it need to retract? But also, what the fuck could I even put in there? Can I plug this guy's bathtub in? in? Oh, maybe I can take one of these bulbs. Oh my god, look at me go. I didn't notice that the first time. Hey, dude, I need that soap. Fuck. I'm confused. I still don't know what this button does either. The riddle told me what goes on the cat. Oh, so that's how I make the clock. Gotcha. Bottle still needs, okay. So I can't use the stuff for other things if that's the case. I'm so confused. Oh, I can go left. Holy fuck, how did I miss that? Does the sound of my heart disturb you? Yeah, can I stab it? It could stop all of a sudden and that would be the end. I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap, are you having trouble with your hygiene? Yeah, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside, but that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you, just let me have the soap for a little while. All right then, take it, it's all yours. Thanks, man. But be careful with that, with the hijackers. They love children when they smell like spoop. What the fuck? They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads. They're beautiful baby faces. That sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. Can I, can he stop? Okay, fine. Fucking game, I swear. Okay, so I got, I got the soap. But that doesn't explain the phone. I also, wait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, maybe I gotta fill the bottle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, there's water here. Okay, cool. So I have it all now. Maybe after I make it, I'll be able to go up and get the key. We'll see. Soap. Bottle of water. That cat's really excited. Why, thank you, good kitty. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. The Echo clock, it's finished. Okay, let's see if the clock will help me. I don't fucking know if it does or not. Nope. Okay, well, I, motherfucker, that doesn't help me with the key. I thought it was going to. What if I combine it with the balloons? Uh, motherfucker. Yeah, maybe they're not regular balloons. Okay, they're fucking water. I would never have guessed they're water balloons. Okay, let's go up here. So maybe, maybe I knock it down with the water balloons? Fingers crossed. It said so every time I tried to use them. Yeah, I forget I can read the bottom when I do stuff. Okay. Come on, what do I need? Throwing knives? Fuck. Oh, you. No, 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 I know now. I know now. I know what it is. I can, uh, use it for the tree. I fucking forgot about the tree. Fuck. Oh, shit. See, I'm gonna teach you the trick. I'm gonna teach you the trick here, chat, okay? Water balloons. You want, you want to know how you make sure they explode on someone every single time? By the neck of, by the nape of the water balloon where you tie it, you take it at your teeth and you tear a tiny hole in it.
tiny, tiny hole with your teeth, all right? And then you throw it, and it is guaranteed to explode every single time. Boom. You've now learned how to throw water balloons. <laughs> oh my god, she misses... There we go. I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. I, I feel like that's not enough. There was barely any water. Works on condoms, too. <laughs> Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry about it. I'm happy you feel better. I don't feel better. I do feel better. Oopsies. Can't read. Let me give you something in return. Oh, stick. Oh my god, now I can grab it. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Thank you, sir. I'll have to go now. I must find my cat. I hope you find it. See you around. Okay, now I can grab the key. 